uh, some serious stock right here. Some blue crabs. And my buddy Johnny gave me. He caught them down on the uh, on the cove. They've been simmering like 12 hours. That stock. I'm gonna make some crab bisque, tomato crab bisque. Look what we got here. This is Nectar of the Gods. All natural. Look at that. So much flavor. That's only like 10 or 12 crabs. So stretch that, you know, not stretch it out, but once we thicken it up and add some cream into it, we got some beautiful soup right there. A bisque is meant to be sipped. It's supposed to be fine. You know, that's a fine, one of the finest soups there is, consomme and bisque. But uh, we'll get some crab. We'll garnish it up. But that's it right there. So beautiful. That's the art of cooking. Said nothing better. Dad Jack's cooking with the blues. All right, Dad Jack's cooking with the blues. Axel, Axel, come over here. Hey, sit. There's no time to eat. Why? Eat? It's always when we start videotaping that he he wants to eat. <laughs> Something else. I'm bringing that up to a temperature, and I have uh, some butter. And uh, so we're going to make a roux. It's about four, maybe four ounces of butter. Old time school bell. So yeah, my sister Holly gave me this beautiful Cuisinette. Is that it? Cuisinette? I was... Crusette, Lake Crusette. I love it. And uh, so I had some uh, organic flour that my friend Keith makes for me, grinds up for me. So we'll turn the heat down a little bit. We don't want, you don't want really high heat, but we want to be able to cook that, uh, the, the roux. flour. I should do it, I think. We'll see. Just a little bit more. All right, we'll be right back. Just gonna let that brown up just a little bit. Finish cooking, cooking the rawness out of the flour. Be right back. Roasted tomatoes and peppers. So I wrote the other the other night. I roasted off a bunch of half tomatoes, you know, we had on the vine because, you know, we got frost coming. A couple of peppers that Harley gave me, the juice, natural juice off the tomatoes. So I'm going to put some of that into my into jalapeno. Okay, well, maybe add a little spice to our situation here. So it's gonna be kind of like a tomato, a tomato crab bisque. And we're gonna we're gonna reduce that down, so reduce to concentrate the flavor a little bit. What the hell? I'm gonna put all. I'm not gonna put that other jalapeno in here. But here, put the rest of those tomatoes in. So this is good because the liquid we work out, we work out the lumps and the roux. 
kick the fire up a little bit. I'm just going to reduce this down just a little bit. Take a look at it. See that? We're just going to reduce it down a little bit. Concentrate that flavor down a little bit. We'll be right back. Come on in, look. There you go. Crack up some of this E&J brandy. Some of my favorite to cook with. You know? Even sip off it a little bit if you need to. Okay, a little brandy. Like a volcano. Be careful that it splash up on you, you'll know it. All right, I'm going to start adding some of this stock in. See how I dip it? See how I get the drips? See, if you just did go like that, you get a bunch of drips. See? So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Just keep that on the side here. And uh, so here's here's the stage where you want to work out as many of the lumps as you can. Turn the fire down a little bit. All right. Look at the color of it. It's all natural color. So I don't like a real thick bisque, but we're gonna add as much stock into it as we need to get it where the consistency where we want it. And I'm gonna take a taste. Now let's see if we need any salt or pepper. Yep, use a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper too. And I forgot my secret weapon. Guess what? Guess what? Tarragon. I always put tarragon on my bisque. And people always say, man, what is that flavor? It tastes like nutmeg. You now when you cook it, when you cook it into it. How good. See, yeah, the, the, the consistency is good, and I think I think we'll use pretty much all of that stock. All right, so I'm just going to simmer that. Um, let all those flavors come together. I'm going to add a mess. You know, maybe it'll be on a little bit on the thinner side than we want, but we'll reduce it down. And uh, then we're going to add some cream. We're going to strain it. Just let that simmer real slow for about... 10 or 15 minutes and then we're gonna I'll show you how we're gonna finish it off once 
we'll take a look at it. Yeah, beautiful. All natural color, no added colorings and no. Daddy Jack's cool with the blues here. That's quick. Once you had that good stock going, it's a matter of minutes you get that soup on the table. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that brandy. I put it down in the cabinet below. Just finish it off with a little bit of the brandy. The other thing we used to do, tap it. It goes right through. Okay, keep, keep going and push all the tomatoes, the pulp of the tomato through until it's dry. Scrape the bottom a little bit. Repeat. So um, right now we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, finish off what, what, what we're gonna eat today, and uh, put some some heavy cream. Optional, and uh, some of this nice uh, crab claw meat. Get a couple of bigger chunks. And I'm going to use the rest, make some crab cakes. See the color? That's what we want. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. All natural flavor, you cannot beat it. It's a little bit more, a little more salt, a little more pepper. You know, sometimes we'll put a little cayenne pepper in there, but with that jalapeno, we don't need it. So I'm gonna just make sure that it all comes up to a nice uh, simmer, not a boil, a simmer. And then we'll dish it up. We'll be ready to go. Ajax cooking with the blues. Yeah. Man. That's it. I let Axel lick the pot. I had it cool down. Don't let it, any of this flavor go to waste, right? So here. See, like I said about dipping. See? Just get about, you know, three quarters. And you want more cream, less cream. Well, that's it right there. And, uh, you know, just with good measure, a little bit of more crab. So a little Daddy Jack's blackened seasoning on top. We don't have any green onions. 
And uh, so that's it. Hey, by the way, you can get that uh, blackened seasoning at Daddy Jack's New London. Dot com have a website uh, get some it's good on anything chicken fish soup in the soups on the vegetables so let's uh let's give it a taste we'll be right back we we have found some green onions all righty right we'll be right back i gotta take a pretty picture of this and we'll be right back okay come on in just take a look Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice when you do stir it up. Sometimes I serve like lobster bisque and without without garnish, just you know, smooth. But it's awful nice to come in and uh, get a fresh piece of uh, crab meat in there. Mm. My mother, she always said, "Go away from you with a spoon." <laughs> well. Uh, Mm, etiquette so the tomato the, the 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 roasted tomatoes really the flavor comes right through oh boy nothing like the flavor for nature nature is you don't need anything else just to make a good stock we've got a nice nice bit of crab meat wow Got a little bit of heat. Nice flex of the tomato and the pepper came out. Mm. Oh boy. Lakeisha, you have a nice big bowl yourself. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. <laughs> mm. One more, one more bite, okay? See, I like it with not too. Not too much cream. Let the let the natural flavor of the soup come through. Mm. Mm. All right. Got to pat myself on the back for this one, but uh, you wanna you wanna uh, join Dad, uh, Daddy Jack's uh, Cooking with the Blues on Patreon. It's P A T R E O N um, dot com forward slash Cooking with the Blues. And, uh, you know, so we're doing some Zoom, you know, Q&A sessions. We're doing an audio blog on uh, uh, my uh, memoirs, on my uh, kind of cookbook memoirs. Uh, there's going to be some uh, merchandise, uh, some uh, a CD, a few CDs that I produce. They'll be available up there. But uh, anyway, you know, everybody stay safe. You know, here in Connecticut, our, our COVID cases are going up a little bit and cold weather's coming and more indoors and you know we're questioning what's going to go on you know for the holidays and we're just all important to be safe that's our major concern and so we might be foregoing a big uh, family gathering for uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas but if in the end we all stay safe and get through all this uh, that's what it's all about love y'all Dad Jacks, Lakeisha Lee doing that video work amazing and uh, so many people are commenting, you know, how the videos are just looking so beautiful, uh, different shots. And uh, love you. Can't thank you enough. Happy Peace. Mm. Wow. All right. I, uh, I just wanted to say uh, one, one other thing I wanted to add is uh, I want to, first of all, thank Johnny Rivero, uh, a tattoo king of uh, New London and Groton. This whole area, fantastic artist, and for getting me the crab meat, I mean the blue crab. What I was saying is, you know, when, when the, I, you know, we had, Johnny given to me steamed, and so you take the top shell off, break them open, and you know, you clean, you clean the crab. You can probably find out online if you really need to, need to learn. But uh, what I was saying is, I, when I cooked it with a tomato paste and, and cooked it in the, uh, you know, covered with water and a just a little bit of chicken stock I had, it simmered it down, and, and when I was straining the broth off, you know, I had all that crab, you know, the legs and the body, and I went through, and I tell you what, even after all that flavor came out of it, that crab was so tasty, and you know, just like, you know, sucked the flavor out of it, and broke some of the claws and pulled the meat out, 
But that's what I'm going to do next is uh, see if Johnny can get me some more crab. I'm going to do that crab spaghetti because that's a classic too, which I've never made. But uh, you simmer the crab in the, uh, in, the, in the thinner marinara sauce, tomato sauce. And then, you know, it's real famous like down in Florida. There's crab houses, uh, crab spaghetti that, uh, you know, you just, you know, believe me, don't wear a white shirt. But, you know, you pick through it. It's. It's just a good a good time experience, and then mixed with that that pasta absorbs the uh, the the taste and the um, the sauce itself. It's just a wonderful thing. But Dad, Jack's going to blues. My boy Axel will get a taste. Everybody's concerned about you, you know. But hey, you don't miss too many meals. Bye, right, buddy. Hey, Dad, Jack's going to blues. Love y'all.